Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my simple secret fireplace entrance. So if we click this button right here, our fireplace will open up. We can go ahead and walk through it right now. And then we click the button behind us and it closed behind us and the fire also comes back on as well. This thing is very simple to build. I've built some of these in the past before, but this one is definitely the easiest one to build out of all of them. So let's just start building this thing, guys. It's a very, very easy build. Let's close it up. <laughs> So let me just swing right over here. It's very easy build, so I'm not even going to cut it out or anything. So for this build, we're going to need a nine by three spacing. We're also going to have to dig down two. However, we do need to dig down three in just two areas. So make sure you have enough room to dig down three. Now for this build, we're going to need some blocks, blocks to put our redstone down on. I'm going to be using clay because we are working with fire here. So I would highly recommend not using wood or wool because it will burn if you do use it near fire. We're going to need six, six, six sticky pistons, four redstone torches, two redstone repeaters, four redstone dust, two dispensers, two netherrack, some fire charges, and a lever just to test it to make sure everything's working all right. Now I have some other redstone down here. This is just for the input. This redstone here is for the actual build itself. See, you don't really need as much. So if you do want to just use a lever instead of a buttons, you can, but uh, I highly recommend doing buttons. I think it's a lot nicer. We're also going to need some blocks of choice. I'm going to be using quartz, smooth sandstone, and stone bricks for my actual fireplace itself. So actually, let me take out the... Uh, you know what let's put this away and i'm going to be using the bricks and the smooth sandstone first <laughs> all right so once you got the nine by three spacing and you've dug down your two come to the bottom left hand corner and count over four blocks so one two three four and then we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards right here and then right next to it we're going to put another sticky piston facing upwards next what you want to do is actually take out your block of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone for my flooring and we're going to put two smooth sandstones right here so this is going to be these pistons right here just to give you a little heads up so it is going to be on your wall so if you want to use stone instead of this go right ahead but i like when the whole floor looks the same Next, what we're going to do is put two blocks up behind our sticky pistons, one right here and one right here. And then we're going to put two torches coming off those blocks, one here, one here. And these two sticky pistons should extend up. Next, what we're going to do is swing over here to the back side. And we're going to put two redstone dust right here in the middle. Next, what I want you to do is coming out of both of these blocks, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay here and one right here on one tick delay. Put a block up in front of both of them. It's going to be mirrored on both sides. Next, what we're going to do is put a torch up right on top of these blocks. Put another block right on top of your torches. Boop and boop. Next, put some redstone dust on top of both of these. One, two, they both should come on. Next, put a block up next to your redstone dust coming out the back side like that. Next, what I want you to do is take out your sticky pistons and put one right here and one right here. And do the same thing on this side. One right here, one right here. They should both extend out. And then we're going to take out our dispensers and put our dispenser right here and our dispenser right here. Next, what we're actually going to do is take out our blocks of choice again. I need, oh, I do have my, I do have my stone bricks that are on. Okay. <laughs> we're going to put a stone brick right here in front of our dispenser. One right here in front of our dispenser. And then off these two back sticky pistons, we're going to put two more stone bricks like this. Next, what I want you to do is take out your nether rack and put nether rack right here and right here going into these two sticky pistons. Also, what we can actually do is put some fire charges inside our dispensers. So take out your fire charges and put them inside your dispensers like that and we should be done with the whole fireplace so now if i actually go ahead and put a let me take out a lever and put a lever to any one of these two blocks right here it doesn't really matter and we're just going to test to make sure it works so go like this it opens up and if we click it up it closes and the fireplace comes on so you can see it's that easy to build guys open and close so what we're actually going to do right now is open it so right now we're going to open it up and we're going to take out our blocks of choice again i'm like i said i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and we're just going to make our nice little walkway going like this and then we're going to put some more blocks right in front of here like that and like that so now all we literally have to do is just put in our input so i'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my fireplace so my fireplace is going to look like this so now if i close it up ooh, it looks like this from the front we're gonna put two more stone right here. Like I said, you can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna be using stone because I think it looks nice for a fireplace. Put some right here. Then I'm gonna take out my wall block and we're gonna put some walling right here. And right here. So this is what our fireplace will look like 
uh, closed. So now what we're going to do is put in our, our input for our button. So we're going to swing over down here and actually let me get rid of these four just because they're going to be in the way. And where these two beads of redstone dust are, let me get rid of this lever as well. Oh, I did not want to do that. <laughs> let me just put that back real quick. I just wanted to destroy the lever. So let me just put this back real quick. There we go. So we're going to have to put our input going to any part of these two pieces of redstone dust. So you can put it here or you can put it here. It doesn't really matter. If you want to follow along, I'm going to be putting mine from the left hand side right here. So what I want you to do is just dig down one more block right here and then put a torch down here inside the hole. Next, we're going to put a sticky piston facing towards a torch right next to this repeater like that. Put a block in front of it. Next, swing to the backhand side. Put a repeater going into this sticky piston on one tick delay. Delete down another block right here. And actually, now we're going to have to do our input. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and take out my input my input stuff so let's take out our input stuff right here and we're going to put a regular piston facing upwards right behind this repeater with one piece of sand on top of it and then now any power going to this block right here will activate our door so if i put a let's say a piece of redstone dust here a block here and a button right here i can click it and it will open up and it will close so now if you want to put your button wherever you want just put it going into this block however i'm going to be putting mine right off to the side like i did over here so what i'm going to do is just put a repeater going into this block on one tick delay put a block behind it with a piece of redstone dust on top of it and then put a our ah, let me get out my smooth sandstone there we go put our smooth sandstone block right on top of here and then our button going into this block so that's where my front button's going to be like i did over there so if i click the button it opens up and if i click the button again it closes and actually what I'm going to do is just fill this in so it just looks a little bit nicer there we go so we got our outside button working like I said you can hide it wherever you want you don't have to have it right here in the middle of the room so everyone can see it you can actually go ahead and hide it but if you don't care about hiding it then you know you can just leave it right there next what I'm gonna do is my inside button so for my inside button let me actually open it up I want to open it up and just make it look all nice inside it just makes it easier to clean it up when you're on the inside so I'm gonna put some more blocks right here Put some more smooth sandstone right here we're gonna come out one more so we can hide all this redstone stuff over here so just come out one more so you have enough room to hide all your redstone take out my block of choice put it right here see all the redstone is hidden now and then we can actually go ahead and take out our stone bricks and put two more stone bricks right here as well like that there we go so all our redstone is now hidden so what i like to do for the inside button is put it right over here to the right now the reason why i put it to the right and not the left is because if you put redstone dust right down here it will activate and hit this sticky piston thus ruining everything so wherever you put your uh input like how mine's on the left hand side if you put yours on the right hand side then your button's gonna have to go here but since i'm on the left hand side i'm gonna be putting my button right over here to the right hand side right there next we're gonna come and block down from our button put a piece of redstone dust on top of it Coming out of this block right here, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay. Put a block in front of the repeater. Put a piece of dust coming out of the block. Then we're going to put a repeater coming out of the dust right here, like that, on one tick delay. Put a block in front of it. And then put a piece of redstone dust right here in this corner. Like that. So now if we click the button on the inside, it closes. And it opens up. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. That easy to build. So now if we just fill this in, make it look nice. There we go. And then take out our walling block. Mine's gonna be quartz and we put some wall blocks right there. We are completely done. So if I click it from out here, it closes and the fire comes on, looks great. Click it again, opens up, go on the inside, close it and open it up and there you guys have it that's how you build my simple fireplace secret entrance or simple secret fireplace entrance if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace